Hello and welcome to the Point series of Trishti IAS. Today we are going to discuss about critical minerals. Let us first of all know why is it in the news. Recently, India and Australia have decided to strengthen their partnership in the field of projects and supply chains for critical minerals. Australia confirmed that it would commit 5.8 million Australian dollars to the 3-year India Australia Critical Mineral Investment Partnership. Let us first of all know about critical minerals. These are elements that are the building blocks of essential modern day technologies. Presently, they are at a risk of supply chain disruptions. These minerals are used everywhere from making mobile phones, computers to batteries, electric vehicles and green technologies. Based on their individual needs and strategic considerations, different countries create their own list of critical minerals. Such lists mostly include graphite, lithium, cobalt and rare earths. Now let us understand the uses of critical minerals. These resources are critical for transition towards clean energy and digital economy. Critical minerals like graphite, lithium and cobalt are used for making electric vehicle batteries. Rare earths are used for making magnets and silicons, which is a key mineral for making computer chips and solar panels. Aerospace, communications and defense industries also rely on several such minerals for manufacturing fighter jets, drones, radio sets and other critical equipments. Now, let us know about the supply risks and the threat of China. Supply risks exist due to rare availability, growing demand and complex processing value chain of critical minerals. Supply shock can severely imperil the economy and strategic autonomy of a country over dependent on others to procure critical minerals. According to a report, China is the world's largest producer of 16 critical minerals. It alone was responsible for some 70% and 60% of global production of cobalt and rare earth elements, respectively, in 2019. In 2010, China suspended rare earth exports to Japan for two months over a territorial dispute. Now, let us know about the initiatives taken by the Government of India. India has set up Kabil or the Khanich Bidesh India Limited to ensure mineral security of the nation. It would also help in realizing the overall objective of import substitution. Australia's Critical Mineral Facilitation Office and Kabul had recently signed an MOU aimed at ensuring reliable supply of critical minerals to India. Now, let us solve the practice question for today. Consider the following statements with reference to the critical minerals. These minerals include graphite, lithium, cobalt, and rare earths. India has set up Khanij Bidesh India Limited to ensure mineral security of the nation. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, neither one nor two. Answer it correctly. Thank you so much for watching. Dear viewers, watch this topic in Hindi on our Drishti IS Hindi YouTube channel.